Hello, I'm Andrew Anecki. I'm a medical oncologist. I'm associate professor of oncology at Vita Salute San Raffaele University in Milan, Italy, and uh, director of Geo Medical Oncology in San Raffaele, Milan, Italy. It was a pleasure this year's meeting, ESMO 2025, to present the primary analysis and biomarker analysis of Sunrise 4. Sunrise 4 study is a phase two study, randomized study, uh, looking at the inclusion, including, including patients with uh, muscle invasive bladder cancer who are ineligible for or refuse splatin based chemotherapy. The primary, the interim analysis and uh, the initial findings have been already presented the last year at the meeting, uh, the ESMO meeting, and published in Lancet Oncology. At this year's meeting, we will present, we have presented the primary analysis and the biomarker data. The clinical data uh, confirmed the initial findings in terms of pathological complete response rate uh, of, with TAR-200 and citrullimab combination, but being as high as 38.2%, uh, with their pathological downstaging to non-muscle invasive disease higher than 50%. With citrullimab monotherapy, uh, the two proportion were 28 and 44%. So there was an, incre an, in an increase in pathological responses in when addition, uh, when adding uh, to the backbone of immune therapy and intravesical therapy. For the first time, we have presented the initial relapse-free survival data. And the RFS data at one year time point were 77% with the combination of gemcitabine intravesical system and cetralimab, as compared to 66% with cetralimab monotherapy. So there is, there is also an increment, an increase in 10% uh, rate in the, in the RFS. Most importantly, we have biomarker data. Focusing on UTDNA, urinary tumor DNA, and CTDNA, circulating tumor DNA. First, UTDNA positivity was seen in 80% of the patients who presented initially with uh, a radically resected tumor, meaning that there is a strong biomarker that could de detect minimally residual disease, also in patients who are being judged to, as, as having a completeness of uh, a durability. Clearance of the UTDNA was seen around 50% of the patients. Baseline UTDNA, so was positive regardless of the completeness of UTDNA, and UTDNA post neoadjuvant therapy at week 12 was a strong predictor of pathological complete response. Also, in the 30, in 30 patients who had a pre-post comparison of the test pre and post therapy, uh, we could assess that, that clearance of the UTDNA was also associated with pathological complete response. On the other side, CTDNA was confirmed. Baseline test or week 12 post-treatment test to be associated with RFS. But not the same for pathological complete response. There was no association with PASCR. So overall, very promising data confirming the initial findings in terms of uh, PASCR rate with combination of intravesical therapy with R200 and citrullimab. And the use of our marker for the first time UTDNA data and CTDNA data to be able to shape the future of the, you know, this, uh, the next generation of clinical trials, maybe with the aim of sparing the bladder. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Onca Daily on YouTube. Hit the bell icon to stay updated.